And welcome back to another quick how-to guide. In this guide, we're going to cover the installation and configuration of Mango HUD so that you can monitor your system resources while you're gaming. This suggestion was brought to me by a viewer who asked me to put together a quick video, so here it is. First thing we need to do is, actually before we start, let me say that I have uninstalled Mango HUD uh, completely from my system, so I can take you through step-by-step step in this particular guide. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal. And the first thing we need to do is add the repository. So we're going to type in git clone hyphen hyphen recurse hyphen submodules space https colon forward slash forward slash github dot com forward slash lightless mango and forward slash mango HUD. Make sure you capitalize the M on mango and the H on HUD, hit enter. And now we need to go, we go ahead and change the directory. So CD, we change directory, mango HUD. And now we're gonna do the build. So dot forward slash build dot sh space and build and this is going to take a little bit hit yes put in the password and hit yes again and let it build it's going to take a little while and i have a junior my russian blue is currently attacking a piece of paper i don't know if you can hear in the background or not So depending on your system, this build may take a little while. Uh, I tried this out on my uh, my Linux Mint laptop, and it took about five minutes. So this system, it seems to be moving a bit faster. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for time's sake in the video. All right, now the build is finished, so we're going to type in dot forward slash build sh dot sh space package, hit enter, and let's do the install. So dot forward slash build dot sh and in space and then install. And Mango HUD is now installed, so we can go ahead and exit out of our terminal. All right, now that we have Mango HUD installed, let's go ahead and give it a test run. Let's try it out on a game and make sure everything works. And if it does, I'll show you how to configure it and we'll wrap the video up. So we'll go ahead and open up Steam. And I've already got a game installed, ready to test it out, uh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. So you wanna go over to Manage, which is the gear on the right-hand side of your Steam screen. Click it and go down to Properties and we need to type in the word Mango HUD. All lowercase, a space. A percent sign, the word command, and another percent sign. So mango HUD space percent command percent all lowercase. Go ahead and close it out and let's hit play and see what we've got. And it's looking pretty good. So Mango HUD is working. We were getting 300, 400 frames on the loading screen. All right, press any key. And I'm just going to go ahead and exit the game. I just wanted to show you that Mango HUD, you know, we do have Mango HUD working. So now I'm going to show you how to configure Mango HUD, and then we'll be finished. We're going to close out. Steam. We're going to go to our uh, home directory and go ahead and click on these three lines if you're using Pop OS and you want to check show hidden files. Open that up. And then we're going to go down to where it says dot config. 
So double click on that. Scroll down to find Mango HUD, the folder for Mango HUD, open that up. And Mango HUD.config, we're gonna open up that file. And then in here, you can set the parameters for the information that you want to be displayed. And what you do is, let's say for example, we wanted the GPU fan, you would just remove that uh, number sign, that hashtag, like this, and hit save, and that information will be displayed on your Mango HUD uh, UI in the game. So you can see that I've got uh, CPU stats, CPU temperature, uh, CPU load chain, VRAM, RAM, and frames per second. So you can kind of go through here and customize this however you want by simply removing the hashtag in front of the um, option that you want displayed. So that's pretty much it, um, pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the video up and say thanks for watching and stay tuned for episode 13 of our Steam Library playthrough and hopefully you check out our Sunday Siege episode coming up on Sunday. So episode, episode 13 should be coming out here, I'm hoping by Monday, uh, maybe Tuesday at the latest. I decided to take kind of a little bit of a break now since I pumped out two quick videos and um, I'm gonna be doing a little bit of traveling and I'll be back and we'll get episode 13 out. All right, thanks again and stay safe.